there is a red dot on the screen and a very purple man that doesn't look like David Tennant. So let's get into the Welcome to Shield. So as we always do with Welcome to Shield, uh, since this is day one and day two, we're gonna beat up on whoever we gotta beat up on uh, with Kilgrave and his merry cast of people that he happened to brain control or mind control, whatever the case might be. I imagine that one of them has to be Jessica Jones. One would think that there. All right, uh, this one here is with Misty Knight. So far, she is a red, red, oh my gosh. Uh, let's try that again. A green, yellow, and blue character. And what's funny enough, I talked about Misty in the uh, Shuri video. So let's get her skills real quick. Bionic Beatdown. Is her green ability which cost eight deals damage to the target and then deals additional damage for each fortified tile on the board and then removes the fortifications removing enemy fortifications first max of five tiles saturday night specialist is her yellow ability which is both active and passive the active per portion converts uh random basic tiles to her team's strongest color and then fortifies and improves uh, random special tiles by whatever the listed amount is. And then when a fortified tile is matched or destroyed passively or the passive ability, Misty heals her allies for a burst of health. And if any allies are a defender, then Misty is also healed, but we don't have to worry about that. And then this is control is her blue ability that costs six, deals damage to the target, then she'll create attack tiles on random basic tiles in a chosen row. And then if those attack tiles happen to land on her strongest color or her team or either team's strongest color, then you fortify that tile and you deal damage. And her affiliation for all those that care, heroes, defenders, team Iron Man, heroes for hire, A-Force, Street level and enhanced. That is a mouthful there. All right, so we got the purple man, Kilgrave. So let's talk about him and his abilities real quick as I get the team up. All right, purple, blue, and black. His purple ability costs seven. It's control, it's active and passive. Let's talk about the passive portion first. Increase the purple, blue, and black match strength of his teammates up to 135% of his own. And if he would be damaged or redirected to an ally and move them to the front, we don't have to worry about that there. But that'll be that'll become more important once we get into day three and those shenanigans there. So the active portion is target, uh, control the target and convert nine purple basic tiles to four turn countdown tiles. And while these are on the board, the currently controlled target is stunned and match damage is done to allies instead of them. Now that'll come, that'll become more important, um, in later rounds. One on one can't stun. Manifold manipulation is both an active and a passive ability. Uh, actively convert three non purple basic tiles into three turn purple countdown tiles that steal one AP from the enemy's largest AP pool and then deals damage for each purple tile on the board. Passively, enemy powers cost three AP more to fire. And whenever that enemy fires a power, gain 3 AP in the color of that power. Do some manipulation with Shuri and Peggy Carter. Yeah. And then finally, Enthralled Masses is another active passive power. Actively, you create a 5-3 a turn purple 
enthrall, mob, repeater tiles that deal damage. And while any of these tiles are on the board, enemy abilities are reduced to level one, meaning meaning like that, that's level one. Uh, minimum of one. And then when an enthrall repeater tile is destroyed, then we reduce the timers of those there by one. Uh, probably what you want to do is someone that, that can reduce countdown or repeater tiles. We don't know too many characters that do that. Uh, for kill grave, it's enhanced street level and villain for all those that care. So let's get into it. So again, we're gonna run this here, obviously, with animations on at least for day one, so we can see Kilgrave's animations. I probably need that black. Now I need the black because I want to get the enthralled masses out. Ha, and Misty's actually one of them. Cool. It's sad they can't use control because because you can't stun. So. Well, we, we'll have increased purple match damage, so. And then we gain AP in blue. Thank you. Thank you, Misty. We shall take all that. I think I'll go there and I'm gonna match purple momentarily. Or now I should match blue. Yeah, why not? Cool. Cool. I want you to hit that bionic beat down. It might hurt a little bit. Oh, it's going to hurt a lot. And we're almost done? Question mark? Exclamation mark? Yeah. Tally marks, yeah, we, we, we were done. I said, so again, our purple is more or less useless. The, the active portion of control, so. We've got to be mindful about that. I'll grab that. So that we can. We can manipulate yellow. Mm. I'll go that way. Ooh, that's gonna stink. Yep. Well, good thing this here is a loner node, so. 
we can just throw throw Kilgrave to the uh, to the wood chipper. Go this way to get multiple blacks. There we go. All right, and throw all masses. Put out purple. All right, get the manifold. I'll need that from you. All right, cool. That'll work. Dang. Oh, well, they will never turn down a match five. Be able to do a little bit of damage here from one of those repeaters. Cool deal. I'll go green because I don't know how close she is to, to gathering that. We'll take yellow. And I think the, yeah, there we go. So there is that done and dusted. And then against the other version of Purple Man, uh, I guess let's use a Purple Man of our own Prowler. Why not? Probably can't be can't be stunned, but I can go invisible though. So No, I don't want to fire off Tinker's coat. Not yet. Now we'll just deal damage. There you go. So let's do day one warm up. This is with Hawkeye. Uh, he is a purple, red, and blue user, though, again, not in that particular order. Uh, what's actually pretty funny about this, about Hawkeye, he actually had an avoid ability uh, that was way back in the day. Uh, his electric arrow is his blue ability, which costs nine. Uh, creates a three turn countdown tile that stuns the target for two turns and it reduces enemy AP in two random colors by four. Blast Arrow is his red ability, which also costs nine. Creates a uh, two turn red countdown tile from a uh, chosen basic red tile and then deals damage to all enemies. And then Speed Shot is his passive if you, ever, if you make a match five or greater create uh some number of uh countdown tiles on purple and then you deal damage uh when those uh countdown tiles reach zero as far as his affiliations go i know it's heroes i know that it's avengers it should be street level and i gotta put taylor swift taylor swift do not hurt me do not hurt me taylor swift do not hurt me okay before Taylor Swift rudely interrupted me, I said, Heroes, Avengers, Team Cap, Defenders, Archers, Thunderbolts, Street Level. Those are all of Hawkeye's affiliations. So let's do this match five. Activate Speed Shot. Watch the Thanos Court's death. 
or weight and measured hits, whatever. Again, getting them spicy taco points or tokens. They're from Hawkeye. The Hood, another uh, street level character. This time he's a street level villain. And I'm looking for my Thor. Blue, purple, blue, purple. Blue, yellow, and black user. He was he was stupidly annoying back in the day. His twin pistols cost 15. You select uh, two three by three blocks, or you say you select two tiles that happen to be three by three blocks. Destroy them, deal damage per uh, per tile, and then you uh, end the turn. And then it doesn't generate AP. Now it used to generate a AP, and it didn't end the turn. But because of uh, Jane Foster Thor and the introduction of charge tiles, yeah. Dramamu's aid is his passive blue ability. Uh, if there's more than uh, one of the, the following colors that are on the board, which is all the colors that are on the board, then you still one AP in that color. And if it happens to be uh, tied, then he'll steal from both colors um, from the opponent. And finally, Intimidation is his black ability, which costs 9. Deal damage to the target and then reduces the timer on 3. Random friendly countdown tiles by 1. Higher levels is all of them. Deals more damage. The main thing you're really worried about is Twin Pistols and Demogamous Age. Steal AP. Uh, as far as his affiliation go, Villains and Illuminati and Enhanced should be street level, but whatever. All right, took took me a little bit longer ish, maybe. Then, but we at least get Dormammu's aid to activate. So, yay me! Probably should target the Tisatsu, but cool. All right, toughen up with Luke Cage, Jessica's husband. And I'm probably going to throw in Iron Fist. Why not? Uh, there you go, Danny. Doesn't matter which one I use. So Luke is a yellow, black, and red user. Hero for Hire is a yellow ability, which costs eight. Fortifies up to two friendly special tiles, then deals damage for each fortified friendly special tile on the board. And if Iron Fist is an active ally, then you create a protect tile first. The Defenders is passive ability. Anytime an enemy fires off the power, you create a black projectile on the board. And if Luke happens to be in front, then he removes an enemy strike attack and projectile. That's a level five. And then finally, a bunch of fiddle faddle is his red ability, which costs 13. It deals damage to the target. So it deals 18, 41 damage if there's strike attack and projectiles on the board if there aren't any strike attack and projectiles on the board then you deal 21 29,000 222 yeah, oh, 22 damage uh to the to the target as far as the affiliations goes heroes defenders avengers team cap enhance and heroes for hire cuz again Luke Cage was the former leader of the of the avengers so yeah, that's why he's an adventure. Now right, we'll go this way to match the yellow. Yeah, Luke can take the damage. It doesn't really, really bother me too much. Yeah, all right, bless that heroes for hire.
do. That's one of those times where you kind of didn't want Luke to be out in front to do, you know, some sort of stun from the opponent, but it comes the territory. Oh, well. There's a damage. Focus back. Get some black. We'll take the damage here. Uh, let me see here. Who's countdown tile? Okay, that's yours. So... Uh, deuces to the mutation because we don't need to deal with him no more. All right, and then another crowd control. And then with that version of crowd control, if Danny and uh, Luke are together, doesn't matter which version, he's just going to flat out ignore projectiles. An Electro. Interesting. Interesting choice. Uh, well, I guess we'll use Big Pun. Why not? Because he makes strike. She makes strike tiles. Punisher wants strike tiles. So Electro is a green, black, and yellow user. Her green ability costs seven, creates three red countdown tiles in different columns which have levels from one one through three and when each one of those expires you deal damage to the target and you destroy all the tiles above it in the column so if you have uh well when we get to the fight i'll explain destroy tiles deal damage but don't generate ap as always love ability is her black ability which is both active and passive she deals damage plus an additional amount of damage if there are fewer than seven team on tiles on the board. And then she takes less damage for each other active villain on her team. Free of, char free of charge is her active and passive ability. Actively, um, she'll create a strong strike tile on the bottom row or in the bottom row. And then if an enemy power would deal damage to Electro's entire team, you reduce that, that damage all the way down to effectively one, and then you generate five yellow AP. Her affiliations, Villains Enhanced, Sinister Six, Thunderbolt, and Street Level for all those that care. All right, now as I mentioned, as I'm getting her team up set up, yeah, I want the yellow. So what do I mean by her green ability? Uh, bolts, jumps, and bolts. So if it's a red tile here, and it happens to be one of the ones that's selected, then all the tiles that are above it would be destroyed. So that's, that's what they mean by that. Might actually get a chance to fire it off soon. Trying to see how many team up tiles do we have. Is it fewer than that? That's 10. Just gonna destroy that tile there in a minute. Which that stinks for us, but it's okay. <laughs> Alright. 
still still in our lower threshold at nine that should be six once everything yep there we go and now we'll be de dealing the extra damage we we'll love the villainy or I will apologize in advance for those who have uh, epileptic seizures that yes her her stuff happens to be very very bright so I said I'll make sure the uh, the next fight of hers that that I have to deal with her she's obviously gonna have animations off so I'd be able to fire off merciless charge. One of my favorite abilities. Alright, so there's day one done and dusted. Uh let me see here. Let's keep the whole villain theme going. I've already used Prowler. Uh, let me see here. Nah, I mean, I could use Red Hulk. Sandman, nah. Then, because uh, they don't make any strike attack or projectiles. Vulture, uh, yeah, I could. Let me see here. I mean, that's an option, but I, I, I'll go with Scorpion. Why not? Now it'll be last time we'll see Kilgrave's animation to go in. Let's get Riri done and dusted out of the fight. Okay, there's the green. Yeah, I'll go black there. Technically, I wanted blue, but. All right, get all those purple tiles on the board. No, I don't want that. I probably want this scorpion take a little bit of damage. That'll work with me, cool. Yeah, might as well. Ha uh ha. -huh.
that's actually pretty cool. Get the charge tile out. Get another charge tile out. Cool. Now I just need a little bit more purple. Well, he just sent him. Well, Riri just sent herself airborne. Cool. All right, now she's stunned. Again, neither one of these here affect affect the fight because she's more or less done. Cause she's she's effectively stunned forever. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool though. Now that now that we got Purple Man's control active. So there's that, and then these other notes are going to be done and dusted real quick. Uh, Luke Cage, let me see here. Can't use, can't use his wife, that'd be nice, but I'll go with Iron Fist. No, no, I've already done Iron Fist. Hmm. Wolverine, yeah. Spider-Man, yeah, why not? Because at least Luke gets a projectile on the board, and then... If Bobby happens to, uh... To get his stun off, well... We do have backup options, so... Or if Scarlet Witch happens to use her purple. Alright, you know what, Scarlet Witch? No more. No more protect tiles. Or no more countdown tiles, I should say. Yep. I can sure use that purple. And now she's unstunned. I just need one more turn for Luke to get unthawed out. Stun him again. Yep.
Nope, Wanda, you get stunned again. No, no more mutants. Yeah, let's literally add all the purple tiles we can. Because this ability here will be stupidly useful for um someone like Nightcrawler. Here I come. So there's that, and then the final two nodes, they again, we'll just stand with these here, get them up, get them done and dusted. Pun totally intended. And then go that way, boom. Say bye bye to the, well, I guess I say bye bye to the hood, but just enough health and then the final node doesn't matter who I target it's a retaliatory damage from Captain Marvel but that really matter because there is that so there's day one and two of welcome to shield done and dusted uh, purple man and foes again your your random assortment of two stars, three stars, featured characters, of course, Purple Man, legendary tokens, and of course, basic tokens uh, for the supports. And you get all these here tokens from the uh, Purple Man PvP that's going on right now. So there's that. And. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully, uh, you got some information out of the Purple Man fight and how to how to at least beat the first round. Um, yeah, so I'll be back at it tomorrow. Be excellent to your fellow human beings, and I will catch y'all, like I said, tomorrow. Till then, peace.